a shamed head teacher who was convicted for drinking three bottles of wine and driving while in possession of a bag of cocaine has quit. Ian Gilmore was twice over the drink drive limit when he was stopped by police after driving through two red lights. The 48-year-old said he was driven to drink by the pressures of his job, and said he had been overwhelmed by his by his personal demons. Last month he was fined nearly £1,750 and banned from driving for 18 months, and Brunel Junior School in Portsmouth has confirmed he has since left. He said he was deeply ashamed of himself, as he had ruined his career when he appeared at Portsmouth Magistrates Court. A spokesman from the Thinking Schools Academy Trust, which runs the school he worked at, said, Ian Gilmore has decided to leave the school, and we wish him well for the future. The head teacher has now left his job at Isambard Brunel Junior School, bosses confirmed image, Solent News. To provide leadership support to deputy head teacher Samantha Cox, will lead the school for the remainder of the year. During a sentencing hearing last month at court, Gilmore admitted drink driving and possession of cocaine. Prosecutor Graham Heath told the court that Gilmore, who had taught in his hometown of Portsmouth for 22 years, was arrested on the evening of January 25 this year. Breathalyzer results showed Gilmore had 67 micrograms of alcohol per 100 milliliters of breath, nearly double the 35 milligrams limit. Mr. Heath said, what attracted the police to Mr. Gilmore was his car when it passed two sets of red traffic lights. He was spoken to and in due course breathalyzed. It was discovered he had a small amount of cocaine on him. He had three bottles of wine and bought half a gram of cocaine and paid £200 for that. Gilmore, who was a popular teacher at school, issued a heartfelt statement to the court and said he had been placed on a program to monitor his position. He said, The last couple of years have been incredibly difficult for me. As well as constant political and financial changes that all schools face, I have had to face further unique challenges as a head teacher. In July last year a long-serving colleague died of cancer. Breaking the news to the school community was hard. The case was heard at Portsmouth Magistrates Court. Image, Google Street View, July's results were disappointing. The second week of the new school year started with an Ofsted inspection and finished with a letter informing me that, as the trust no longer had faith in my ability to lead the school, I was about to be placed on pre-capability support program. But that is what the life of a head teacher has become, it is what I signed up for. What I didn't sign up for, however, was doing all that whilst coping with long-term mental health issues. I have been on medication for at least the last five years to help my depression. I spent last term determined to achieve success professionally and personally and by Christmas I naively thought I had won both battles. It turns out that these were pyrrhic victories brought about by the Trojan horse of alcohol dependency entering my life. I had begun to drink every night despite my best intentions to cut down. What I did not realize was that I had developed a craving for alcohol which meant once I started, I could not stop. One bottle of wine became two and then three. I became incapable of rational thought. I was in such a state on the night of my arrest when I compounded my stupidity by giving in to a desire for something stronger. My subsequent actions have destroyed my career and caused perhaps irreparable damage to my marriage. But I have heeded the wake-up call and am determined to save myself. He went on to say he has sought help for his problems with medical professionals. He also said, his actions were committed by a man who had been overwhelmed by his personal demons, a man who is still deeply ashamed of himself. I would like to publicly apologize to my family, the parents, children and staff at Brunel and this city which I have taught for 22 years. Gilmore told the court he would be attending a drink driving course, which would reduce his driving ban by 18 weeks.